We have amazing technology in our lives, amazing smartphones that allow us to do so much, and really these tiny little personal computers that we carry around in our pockets. And in some ways, I would argue that maybe we don't have uh, what might be a normal relationship with this technology. We probably spend more time with these devices than we spend with our own families. Would anyone agree with that? Quite a few, right? Well, some guy agreed with this and decided to write a song about it and put it on YouTube. Hey Siri, do you love me? How can I tell? You just know. Okie dokie. Okay. Everything's okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. I'm okay if you're okay. <laughs> hey Siri, you're very beautiful. Thanks. Can we get back to more Your now? Lips. Beautiful. I don't really like these arbitrary categories. Okay. Will you marry me? Let's just be friends. Will you marry me? We hardly know one another. Will you please marry me? I'm not capable of love. I love you. My end user licensing agreement does not cover marriage. I love you. <laughs> you say that to all the virtual assistants. I love you. Let's face it, we all did this when Siri first came out, right? We talked to Siri, tried to mess Siri up. Uh, and in fact, uh, in terms of relationships with our smartphones, there was a study done at Stanford University surveying students to talk to them about their relationships with their smartphones. And it found out that 75% of students actually slept with their iPhones. Uh, pretty amazing. However, I imagine the numbers might be similar in this room. Now, today in 2012, we have so many amazing pieces of technologies. I would probably argue that one of the best is the iPad. The first time I realized that this was such a powerful device, I was uh, hanging out with my son, who is just uh, three years old now, and it was amazing to watch him use the iPad. At the time, he was not toilet trained. He really couldn't say a lot. He couldn't speak a lot of words, but he could really understand the iPad. Has anyone had a similar experience? Fantastic to watch him go through this device and use different applications and really be able to turn the iPad on and off, to charge the iPad, uh, to go and watch YouTube videos. And this is about a year ago when he started using it on a regular basis. Now check out some stats here as far as usage with the iPad. Now the one that surprises me at the, is at the bottom here. 20% of men using the iPad in the bathroom. Yeah, there's some men chuckling, right? <laughs> pretty common, uh, pretty common occurrence. Uh, well, what I really noticed about my son when he started to use the iPad on a regular basis is how this was really shifting his mind as far as interacting with technology. We have a big flat screen television in our living room. And what he would do after he got used to playing with the iPad, I'm sure some of you know where I'm going with this, he would walk up to the TV in the living room and he would literally push on the screen and try to get the screen to interact back with them. And of course, he got very frustrated like any toddler would because it wouldn't do anything. And so he had, ignores it all together now and focuses it completely on his tablet. Now, the state of the social media mobile union, some stats. 70% of Canadians currently use social media. Not a big surprise here. 465 million Twitter accounts around the world. And what's really interesting is how quickly Twitter usage has grown in Canada. In 2009, there was only about 1% of the population who was currently using Twitter, and that went up to almost 20% in 2011. Now, 900 million Facebook users, one of the largest social networks in the world, of course. The fastest growing uh, group of people on this network is women 55 and older. Maybe not a big surprise. My mom falls into this category. She is what I call a Facebook lurker. Yes, she knows exactly what everybody is doing on Facebook. However, she never posts one thing. I'm not sure she's ever posted anything on her own wall. However, she knows what cousins of cousins are doing when they buy new homes, when they get married, when they have breakups. And she understands all of that because she's really obsessed with the Facebook environment as a lurker, of course. 